Hi, Geraldine, back with you again. So I'm here at the machine ready to quilt my table runner. I'm going to quilt this in a zigzag motion. So I have my um, Supreme slider on the table so that everything moves easily. I have my ruler foot on the machine and I'm going to go into the home screen and then into the t-shirt option and go to quilting. And then on this machine I have an option for ruler work. I'm going to take my tension down to two and just lift my foot a little just because I have the quilter's felt on the back here and some extra um, wadding or batting. So we're good to go. Now I want to um, quilt this a half an inch away from the edge of the fabric. Now I know the needle is going to already be, if I placed the foot against the edge of the fabric, the needle's already a quarter inch away. So I'm going to use the ruler and I'm going to place the first line on the edge of the ruler on the edge of the fabric. Then when I place the ruler down, the quarter inch from the foot and then the quarter inch on the ruler gives me a half inch marking. So I need to start up here right up at the top and off onto the white. So I've got this line on there. Now I'm going to pop my foot down, put my needle down, bring my foot back up and just bring up that bobbin thread. I've recently found these um, little wraps for my fingers which are like a bandage um, but they're rubber and instead of wearing thimbles I can just wear those. Now I've got my speed set on um, a medium pace. I'm going to just take the foot back out to the edge. Pop the foot down, pop my needle down. Let's bring up a bit of the quilt and we're good to go. Now as I stitch down, I'm placing the horizontal line on the bottom of my diamond here because I know I need to stop also um, so that I can stitch a half an inch away. So I have this line here on the diamond. So I'm going to stitch down to um, a quarter inch away because a quarter, um, the quarter plus the foot will give me the half inch to turn. So a couple of stitches on the spot just to get going. I'm using a quilting thread that's a 40 weight. Let's just test that. So you can see I've placed my ruler now on the horizontal line going across and I am just right up against it now. So now I'm just going to sew sideways. So here I'm going to put a line again on the edge of my applique square and I'll stop a quarter inch and just measure. So the point to stop is where the needle lines up with the line so that when you turn, I've just got to do one more line. So just line it back up again and just walk across. And then when I turn, automatically now my quarter inch line is on the edge of my square. So I'll go again with my little grippies. Just going to line up my square this way and stop there. 
I'm using um, a cotton that is a mixture of grey and cream um, because my um, my fabrics are cream and a grey colour. So just one more little bit here and then turn and I'm on the quarter inch line again. Maybe just one more little bit. And here we go again. And again. So you can see once you get going it's quite easy um, to have a look here to keep the shape all the way down as you go along and because we're not having to keep turning the piece around in the direction we want to go we're simply um, moving the ruler so that it's facing the direction we want to go. It's a little bit tricky here with the camera because I'm not sitting square on. You need to set your speed, whatever that is, but find a comfortable speed where you feel in control. I like to use the foot control when I do this rather than the stop start button. So I'm just going to keep going down all the way one side and then I'm going to come back up the other side. So back with you again. Now I have finished all the quilting and just given this a trim and you can see there um, I'm pretty happy with the way it's all quilted and the back looks great as well. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I look forward to seeing you again in another video soon. Bye for now.